Hey, fellow collector, Shuki here with a review of the Ultraman Rube DX Rube Crystal Holder. So, <laughs> I always gotta have some sort of holder for things. Uh, and this one is, is kind of neat. I like the way this looks. I just kind of wish it held more. But you'll, you'll see what I mean shortly. This is the little kind of brick that uh, Rosso and Blue have in the series that can hold up to four Rube Crystals. Uh, they get it when they first get their powers, and that's where the Taro and Ginga Crystals are and all that fun stuff. So I, I do like it in the lore. I like it in terms of the functions of the toy. Just wish it could hold more because it deserves it. It's a neat toy. Uh, so very, very cool. This does include the Tiga crystal. Tiga activating the wind form for both Rosso and Blue, as you can see up there. Can hold four crystals, as mentioned before. You can see the four transformation crystals right in there, which makes sense uh, for this toy. And there you go. There's all the functions on the back. Functions of the Tiga thing. Functions of the Tiga thing there, too. So... There is some Ultraman Blue action going on over there, and there's some Ultraman Rosso action going on over there. I love Rosso's design in purple. It is really neat. So it's available in August 2018 for about 2,000 yen or so. Good day, depending on when and where you picked it up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this open and take a look. And here it is. Uh, like I said, it is very, very... We'll just move the Tiga side right now. It's it's simple. This is a very simple toy. You got uh, Blue's logo, I guess. On this side, the kind of orb... Uh, it's actually just a color timer with the blue sort of flame design on that side. And on the side you have the same exact design except with the red uh, design for Rosso. Right there. Nice silver paint. And a nice metallic blue and a nice metallic red. So it does look very nice. And it kind of feels nice too. It is a little bit heftier of a size of course. Because it does have to old, hold uh, the crystals. And the crystals are a relatively thick shape. As you can see right here it's got to hold one on each side, so it does have to be a thick toy, but I do like it. Uh, it is held together just by a simple little tab right there, which I feel might give out in time, but we'll see what happens. Uh, this isn't spring-loaded or anything, but it does have like a click to it, so once you open it to like a certain point, it will kind of snap closed, so you can see the four spaces for the crystals right there. There is even a silhouette of the Ultra right there, just so you know which direction everything's supposed to face. So very kind of them. Uh, this looks kind of neat in general, just on the other side while it's open. So all you do is you take the crystal of your choice and you set it in right there. That's all there is to it. And it holds together in there. It's not loose. It snaps in. It ain't going anywhere until you decide to pluck it from there. And it does have an, quite enough room for your fingers to get in there and take it out. Uh, of course, if you have any of the prongs open, you will not be able to insert it in there. Uh, also, you cannot insert it any other direction besides the way that matches the Ultra. So as you can see, I'm trying to put it in upside down. It does not work. Only this way. And that is because there are some tabs right there. And then those tabs line up to these little slots that are open on the crystals right there. And as you can see, those aren't available anywhere else on the crystals. So you can only match it up to that. And I, like I said, it does work very, very well. We put Taro up there. We put Ginga right here. And unfortunately, Victory is not out yet. So we'll just use Jeed and we'll plug him in right there. So there is a look at four crystals in the holder. Like I said, they're nice and secure in there. They're not going anywhere. I like it. And a nice simple flip, and it's closed. It's also not going to open randomly, so there is that as well. So if you really love this toy line, you want to carry some crystals around with you, this is a great way of doing so. I mean, it's what uh, they do in the show. So <laughs> I think that's a, a neat little uh, roleplay aspect uh, to this as well. So if you got four favorite crystals you just really like, for me, it would probably be like X and Orb and Orb Origin and Orb Thunder Bruster. Or Space Sims of Parion is the thing too. You could just fill this with Orb Crystals. That's what I would do. <laughs> so uh, there you go. It is very cool. Very simple, of course, but it is only 2,000 yen. So it's not too expensive for this plus the Tiga Crystal. And the Tiga Crystal is something you're definitely going to want. Uh, because this activates the Wind Form for Rosso and Blue. So there is 
Tiga hanging out in there. Tiga's done a d -d 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 design. Wow, design is very cool, very iconic. Uh, Tiga, if I remember correctly, was the first Heisei Ultra. So, there's that. There's the Rosso form for this. We'll go ahead and bring in the Rube Gyro. Plug them in. Neat. Again, love, love, love those colors. And because it's a transformation one, it does have a secondary sound. Very cool. So, pluck that out. Close it up and go ahead and flip out the blue. So there is that, and of course we have the Rube Slugger, go ahead and do Rosso's attack. Trying to get in some de rave motions over there. Wow. <laughs> Again, I wish this toy was just a smidge more sensitive, I guess. There is the Tiga Crystal and the Rube Slugger. So I actually enjoy this thing uh, quite a bit. I didn't think I was going to like it a whole lot, but as a fan of the crystals themselves, having this neat little display option and uh, portability option is something that I particularly enjoy. I can totally see putting the main four transformation crystals in there and putting it with your Rube Gyro just so you always have those four transformation ones with you or if you're just kind of casually collecting just put your four favorite ones in there to have those with you. Uh, it's, it's, it's a neat little toy. I will give it that for sure. Do I want more of them? Not really. But uh, for what it is uh, worth, I definitely dig it. Plus, you do get the Tiga Crystal, which is something that everyone should have as a transformation uh, crystal for sure. So, there's that. If you don't want this at all, I'm sure this will be available in Kenny Toy and Gashapon releases later on down the line. But uh, I don't think buying it in with this toy is a bad thing at all. This is pretty neat. So, that about does it for this review. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care, and have a great one. Bye. I'd like to thank Mike, Joey, Joe, John, Josh, VZ17, and all my fans who support me on Patreon.